Welcome back reefers for the long awaited six month update of the Red Sea Reefer XL300. Again, I'm sorry for being so inactive. Um, sort of had lots of stuff going on, personal life, and just sort of got in the way of sort of doing what I want to do with the tank. So it's sort of been chaotic really the last few months. Um, as you can probably see, the tank is not looking its best. There's a lot of sort of green hair algae that's absolutely everywhere on the rocks. Um, I went for a stage, I think it was about a month, month and a half, where I just wasn't really interested. I was just chucking food in for the fish daily. Um, didn't do any water changes and sort of the RO water I was using to top off um, or top up the tank or the ATO. It was just, I hadn't changed the filters for nine months. So as you can imagine, absolute disaster. Um, all the sort of the stuff that the RODR units are there to take out the water, I was putting straight in the tank due to just laziness and yeah. So I'm having to pay the price now of having to fix it. Um, as you can see, this is a day of just sort of picking out as much as I can. That's probably about two handfuls I've got out. And as you can see, there's just absolutely tons of it. Um, so my plan is to, I've ordered some Vibrant because I've seen loads of people get great success from that. Um, I'm gonna invest in a good cleanup crew tomorrow as well. And hopefully we can get this tank looking sort of back to how I want it. So it's gonna be slow sort of progress, it's not gonna be quick at all, I don't think. I know you've got um, Flux RX and things, but I don't want the risk of when that comes, or when you get rid of the algae, another algae pops up. So I, I don't mind doing sort of a longer, sort of natural as such process, um, and then hopefully get on top of it and then we can get some more corals in here and get it all starting to grow back, grow up. Um, as you can see, we've got a lot more fish in here now. Um, so from the last update, which was a three month update, the sea fighter rest I had originally um, got stuck in a rock. And I didn't find her for about three or four days. And the way I found her was the cleaner shrimp was sort of picking at her. Um, so I had to get a replacement. He's male, he's absolutely gorgeous. Um, stunning fish. As you can see, top right hand corner, we've got a Midas Blenny. I don't think you can have a reef tank without these. So much character, always out swimming. But when I first put him in, the silver spot was a little bit aggressive to him. He was not allowed out of that little hole in that rock there. She'd go swimming past him, flapping her fins, or flashing her fins and showing who's boss and chasing him. Um, so I went for the good old fashioned mirror on the side of the aquarium. And to be honest, I think it has had a sort of a positive effect on the silver spot. She's still bossy and she still thinks she owns the tank, but the aggression is a lot less. As you can see, the Blenny's in the open water, free swimming really, and not being chased. The first sort of three or four days, he wasn't even allowed to do that. Um, we've also got a Melanaris Ras. There, she's stunning as well. She's one of the newest ones in there. We've got the sea fighter rest there. There's the silver spot. She is absolutely stunning, but she has got one attitude on her. And then we've got the blenny there, the royal grammar, the clownfish at the back, and then we have got a sand sifting goby as well, just to turn over the sand bed, and he's done an amazing job of that. But he's hiding because the camera's out, funnily enough. But that is pretty much all the update with the fish and sort of livestock we've got in there. As I say, I'm going to get a lot more, I'm going to get a list of snails I've got to get tomorrow um, and get them in the tank and hopefully they'll get to work on some of this hair algae. And I'm obviously going to be doing a lot of sort of maintenance, uh, manual removing and also dosing the vibrant and hopefully that will tackle it and get it under control and then we can finally put some corals in here that will then, it will grow up to a mature reef. I have started dosing the Red Sea ABC Foundations. Um, I finally set up the reef dose. I'll do a separate video on that. Um, when I tested the, the uh, 
alkalinity, I think it came out at 4.8. So I had to slowly increase that over about five days and it's now rock steady at eight. And uh, this style of four at the back here is just expanded in growth, even though the water's not fantastic. Obviously nitrates are undetectable. Um, as well as phosphates, which I think that's just to do with the amount of hair algae that's in there. Just to give you an idea, that was two sort of clumps that I've pulled out today, um, but two good handfuls. Um, so yeah, we've got a lot to go, but it's looking positive. We've obviously got the two wave pumps in there as well, the TMC Reef Tide Slim 16,000s, um, which are pushing the water around in the tank and hopefully it will start to look like a reef. It's a lot slower than what I wanted it to be and anticipated it to be, but you know, it's worth the wait. Um, the next video I'm gonna do what's in the sump, the equipment I've got in there, and then hopefully by that stage we'll um, start adding some more corals. There's a few more fish on my list that I wanna get, um, but I think we'll just try and get this algae under control and then we'll go from there. But Thanks for tuning in guys and see you in the next video. Happy reefing.